So, you think you're untouchable? Welcome to the Six Hills. I'm your host, Brandon Fox Griffin. And I got two of my four guys with me, Miss Red to my left, Ricky Bobby to my right. And what we're about to do is chop it up about this upcoming event that the WWE is hosting, which is the Elimination Chamber. Yes. Talk to me. Get into these predictions. So, first, we got Edge and Beth Phoenix versus two representatives of the Judgment Day, Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley. What you guys got? Um... I want to go with Edge and Beth Phoenix, but I know that Finn and Rhea are going to get it. So I'm just going to keep it short and Finn and Rhea. Yeah, Rhea cannot go into WrestleMania with an L under her belt, right? So we know that. But shout out to the Radar Superstar and his wife, Beth, for understanding, again, what this is all about. You got to get guys over, right? It's important for Ripley to get a good one. If we could have saw her and Beth fight in Beth's prime, probably would have been arguably one of the best matches ever. Beth was a beast, yeah. bro. Yeah. So, I'm glad that they're doing it. Shout out to Edge, because I think he is great. He understands it. And um, shout out to Rhea Ripley as well. And hopefully Finn Balor can, you know, ascend, because we know what was taken from him years ago. And, and hopefully he can eventually ascend back to that. Yeah, I, I think it's more so about uh, Rhea Ripley than anybody in the match. But given the names in the match, it's going to be a very good match. Uh, other than Roman Reigns and the whole bloodline thing right now, I feel like Rhea Ripley is probably top three hottest in the company right now. Yeah. So oh, definitely, Judgment Day should take that win, or Rhea does something that uh, trumps a win, either way. So next, we got the qualification for the Raw Women's title. Whoever wins this is gonna face Bianca at WrestleMania. We got Raquel Rodriguez versus Asuka versus Natalia versus Carmella versus Liv Morgan versus Nikki Cross. What you guys got? Um, I think Asuka should win it, but they just returned Natalia and Carmella, so they, they could be contenders for it, but I want Oscar to win. We'd love to see Oscar, right? She comes back, mass, she's just, she's all that. But I believe she's going to, she's used to, to help get the ladies over. And so, um, maybe Carmella. I really don't have a dog in the fight, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I just want to see a good match. Yeah, but I, I like Raquel Rodriguez. Um, I think she's still a little too green to face Bianca at WrestleMania. Uh, the only viable opponent really is uh, that can beat Bianca is Asuka. The other women in the match are good enough to face her, but uh, Natalia, uh, who else is there? Nikki Cross, Liv Morgan, Carmella. They'll, they'll put up good fights, but the only one to really beat Bianca is uh, Asuka, but I don't think she'll win the match. Now, even though Bianca is a fan favorite, right? Obviously. But at the same time, I think it would be great if Oscar could because that would be a great name for her to have on her resume, Bianca Champion, saying that she retained it against, you know, someone like Oscar. Because you know, ultimately Oscar's she's up there on that level, you Pure know, Car with the Charlotte, with the with the the man and all those other great divas. So yeah. yeah. True indeed, true indeed. So next we got a uh, heavy hitter, Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. Here we go. <laughs> um I think that if it was a few years back, it would be Brock. But at least on the World Rumble, he's he's looks like he's the person getting guys over now. So I think that it's looks like going to go to Bobby. But I'm excited to see the match. It should be good. I want to see Bobby win, right? Um, it's hard for me to see Lesnar take an L to Bobby, though. As he says, Bobby who, right? So it's hard for me to see him take the loss. I'm rooting for Bobby on this one. But I wouldn't be surprised if... You know, Lesnar does what he does, which is tear the whole place up, man. Yeah, I think it's definitely going to be a heavy hit match. A lot of spears, a lot of German suplex, and yeah, announce yeah. tables, guardrails, yeah. all that stuff will be gone by the end of the match. Um, I think Bobby Lash is going to win. I think he's going to win. It looks like they're piecing together the Hurt Business again with MVP and uh, all those guys. So, yeah, I got Bobby. I got Bobby. I think the better question for this match should have been, how long is it gonna last? Right? I, was just gonna I, I gotta go about fourteen minutes. <laughs> 14, fourteen. I think under ten, like eight. I think under ten. Yeah. A strong eight minutes of just having. Because <laughs> there, it's only gonna be Dark Spencer Spear suplexes the whole time they're going. So how long can you keep that up? Hey, man, listen, Bobby's got stamina, man, and yeah. you know, Rock. I mean, his resume speaks for itself. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna go for a while. I, I, it's got to go at least fourteen minutes. Ten minutes, man. Oh man, I don't know. That, that might be bad. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, 
<laughs> United States Championship Elimination Chamber. We got Austin awesome Theory, the champion, defending against Seth Rollins, Mr. Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, and Montez Ford. What you guys got? All right, hold up. <laughs> Shout out to Montez Ford. I'm glad yeah. to finally see the relevancy. I like that. But listen, just watch me. That's what it's all about. Seth freaking Rollins. If he does not win this and get gold back around his waist, come on. What, what are we talking about? Come on. Man. I think that, well, me, I, I want Seth to win, but I know that it's it, the match isn't really about him. As you see, he it's kind of a similar situation with Oscar. She's in a match, and he's in a match with but people who are just now personally, like, they're not really veterans as Seth Rollins is. So I'd love to see Seth Rollins win, but I don't think it would go to him. Yeah, and not, not to cut you off, right? But again, how long can Seth keep doing that? This has been going on for a little while now where he's, you know, coming out and got everybody, you know, helping guys get over, get over. Like at some point, he has to get back on top. You can't just be the guy that's gonna sit there and keep getting guys over. True, yeah. true. The thing about Seth, his spot is sort of solidified in the things they have going on. So, and he's a good enough wrestler to get in there with anybody they need him to get in there with. That's a the great championship point. scene is kind of polluted right now. Has been for the last 700 days or whatever it is. 800 uh, almost. <laughs> yeah, 900 days. 900 days, my bad. Take it easy. So, <laughs> so um, Bronson Reed is a, is a new monster. They got coming out. His stamina, but I guess it doesn't really matter in a match with six dudes who can carry their own weight. Montez Ford is a bona fide star. I don't think he's going to win in this match. Uh, Damian Priest is also impressive, but he just lost the title not too long ago. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Austin Theory retained his title, actually. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Honestly, though, Montez Ford for breakout star. For yeah, match, for Montez sure. Ford, he's, he's one of them. Gonna carry he's one of, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to a nice, a few, a couple of highlights from him in that match. Yeah. Definitely. So the main event of Elimination Chamber, this will determine the main event to see who faces Royal Rumble winner Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania in Hollywood. This is a big one. Mm -hmm. right. Undisputed nice. Universal Champion, head of the table, His Highness, Roman Reigns, versus Sami Zayn. So, what you guys got? This is a big one. Right now, it looks like all others stacked against Sami, but he has, he has Jay on the side, and I think that I don't think it's gonna be a, like a regular match. I think some, something's obviously gonna go differently than how we how it would be a regular match. I honestly, I think it'll be interesting to see Sammy versus Cody WrestleMania. But I think that they're definitely gonna have Cody take the title away from Roman. But I think that Sammy's gonna put up a good a good fight. It'll be a good match. I like Sammy a lot. Sammy has come a long way. You know what I'm saying? So props to him for even you know this is a big match no matter what. But. Ultimately, WrestleMania is about the bloodlines of wrestling, right? And again, Cody said it best. When you talk about royalty in wrestling, a lot of families get mentioned, but for some reason, that Rhodes family doesn't really get the respect they deserve. I will say this, though. Um, Roman has been caring, man. Regardless of what, I wasn't a fan of it. Probably the first 400 days, and now here we are. It's 900 days of his reign, and it's kind of like, all right, it's not really getting old, but then it's like, who's going to stop? Him? But I do like Cody, and I think Cody can do it, and I think it'll be great. But um, I'm rooting for Cody, but I would not uh, be surprised as far as that goes. But for this one this weekend, it would be nice to see Sammy win, but I don't think he is. But I think Sammy's going to put on a great match, and the bloodline drama is going to be on point. It's going to look great. But I think when it's all said and done, acknowledge me. Yeah, I think Roman Reigns is going to take it in a very good match. Uh, I think this match is more so for the story building of what's going on with the bloodline with Jay and Jimmy, uh, Solo, all those guys. And also the storyline going into WrestleMania because this past Raw, uh, Cody and Sammy had a great, great interaction in the great. ring. Yeah. So it's cool to see how these stories develop. But mm -hmm. as far as the outcome of this match, Roman Reigns definitely retaining to face Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. But um, I think it would be a great match. Sami Zayn is a great wrestler. It's cool to see how far he's come since we first saw him on ROH in like 2011. Yeah, so right. I say that. But yeah, so that concludes the uh, Elimination Chamber predictions. Uh, it's Babyface Hills Gang on the Griffin Family Entertainment Network, something like that. Menace Red signing off.